Hi, it's Canatex here with a series of videos about building and installing Myth TV on Linux from scratch. So this is a project I've been working on for quite a long time now, perhaps a couple of years on and off. Um, reason it's taken so long to come to fruition is because it's quite a complex procedure. Um, it's been further complicated by the fact that all my notes are based on um, older Linux and Scratches and older versions of Myth TV as well. So I'm actually going to be attempting to install the current version of Linux and Scratch, which is, uh, or rather using, I'm not going to show it being installed. If, if you need to see that, you can refer to one of my videos. So basically, Myth TV. Um, at, at its core is a TV recorder. It will take broadcasts, it will um, take the data stream and store that data stream on the disk and then it will play back that data stream and then it's got numerous other facilities, um, some via plugins, some of um, part of the core um, of Myth TV but basically as I say it will take that stream and play it back so in addition to that it's got program guides so you can um, you know see what programs are due to come up uh, you can set schedules to r record you know series or repeat programs there's operations you can do on the database that it stores it remembers what programs it's recorded it, re it knows which is the next in the sequence of uh, you know, in a series of programs, which is the next one to record. It can record um, multiple programs across multiple channels. So, for example, you may only have one aerial feed, but it allows you to record, I believe it's five or six simultaneous programs, as long as they're on the same multiplex or same transponder. Um, so, obviously, that's really useful, especially if you've got... Uh, multiple inputs to the TV you, you could potentially have you know a handful of recordings in progress at once I think at the most I've had five recording at once um, across different channels different multiplexes and another good thing about Myth TV is it will take quite a lowly machine um, somewhere on the help page it, it mentions about using the Passmark CPU bench as an indication of capability, minimum capability, and it says as long as uh, the pass mark value is over 500, then the machine should be capable of playing um, 1080p high definition uh, broadcasts. So um, I have got a few machines that are just below that, and I can warrant that you know they don't quite keep up with displaying that. It's a little bit sluggish, so. If you're looking to use a, an old machine, reuse an old machine, then as long as the CPU does uh, give a benchmark greater than 500, then it should be fine to use for HD.